Hi there, this is Ian from the Brothers Brig. Welcome to the second part of our Shield Helicarrier review. Now in the first part we looked at the build and the ship itself. And in the second part we're going to be focusing on the microfigs, small details and the minifigs. So unlike other microscale UCS sets, this one contains a lot of exterior microscale detail, and I think the most notable example are the Quinjets. You get three in the set, and there's the nice addition of this clear rod, which allows you to display one in flight. Unfortunately, it does wobble rather spectacularly if you walk within 100 feet or so of it. Now, the Quinjets are the first nod to the new Avengers movie. These aren't the 2012 Quinjets, these are Age of Ultron Quinjets. I kind of preferred the 2012 version, it was all black and cold war-y. This is very sci-fi. Uh, other aircraft in the set uh, are the three fighter jets. I think they're little more than set decoration. So some of the more creative microscale details on this set are over here. We have a fuel truck and two forklifts surrounded by various shipping containers and other equipment. The forklifts are very cleverly designed using some interesting pieces such as the clear headlight brick and even roller skates for the wheels. They're adorable. But I think the microscale feature that everybody's talking about with this set are of course the microfigs. If I can actually find them, where the hell they go? Everybody is talking about these. Oh, crap. Now this is a completely new direction for LEGO, and I think you're all waiting to see if it's a one-off or the start of a new trend. You get four micro heroes and eight micro shield agents. Eight of them. And they have these strange hats and these big shield logos that I don't remember from the movie. So what's up with that? Why couldn't LEGO just give us more micro heroes like Thor or Black Widow? Where are the villains? I want a micro Loki! Now you can sprinkle the micro figs across the deck of the carrier, or you can house them inside, thanks to this hidden compartment that reveals a complete micro scale recreation of the bridge. Now we know why there's so many shield agents. The bridge is really well designed, but it is marred by a couple of things. There's a lot of exposed rotor mechanisms and hull interior around it, and a void at the back. And the other problem is it's actually quite hard to pose the microfigs on the bridge, unless your hands are the size of a five-year-old's. There are no studs to attach them to, so if you move the ship, they're going to fall over. And once they fall over, they're very hard to retrieve. My tip, a piece of tape on the end of your finger works just great. Now the helicarrier comes with five minifigs, four of which have reversible heads for different facial expressions. And they come on this rather snappy brick-built display stand that depicts the, the shield logo. So let's take a closer look, and for that I'm going to hand over to Mini-Me. Thanks Mega Me. So I think the best figure from this collection has to be Captain America. This is the first time we get to see him with hair instead of a helmet, and he looks very dashing. The Ultron uniform looks great, and the brown gloves are a nice touch but the, the rest is rather bare. I would have liked to have seen the uniform extended into the arms, maybe some boots printed on the legs, and maybe even um, a shield that could clip to his back. Now next we have Black Widow, and it's great to see this fig finally get the correct hairstyle. Here she's wearing her electrified Age of Ultron uh, uniform, and carrying some kind of random sci-fi gun that I guess Lego must have overproduced, because they're throwing this into just about every set. This makes no sense. She should have a pair of black pistols, or why not some shock batons as we see her in the new movie. This is Hawkeye, although like me you'd be forgiven for not recognising him at first. Uh, a lot of fans are going to love this trendy new hair piece, but you know I don't think it's actually the right colour or style for the character in the movie. Um, also I'm not a great fan of the shades and the grimace, I mean the character hardly ever wears shades on the screen and he's not a grimacey kind of guy. I'm also kind of disappointed with the compound bow. It's very clunky looking. Nick Fury does appear briefly in the Age of Ultron, but he appears to be featured here in his 2012 guys. Uh, the head printing is spot on, but not the rest so much. They've tried to show his trademark trench coat by printing it up and down the torso and the legs, and then using this contrasting grey in the middle. 
I don't know, I wish they'd just have designed a cape piece to actually make a real trench coat, that would have been much better. And kept the rest of his clothes black. Oh, and given him a gun, maybe. Now this is the first appearance of Agent Maria Hill as a minifig, yay. And I do like the shoulder printing of the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo, but that's about the only thing I like about this fig. Firstly, her uniform here is dark blue, but she actually has a dark grey uniform in the 2012 movie. She sometimes wears dark blue, I think, in the, in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. And that would be about it. Also, the hair makes no sense. In the original movie, it was short and tied back. Um, and in the TV show and in the new movie, we see shoulder length hair. Thank you, Mini-Me. So we've already seen how this set is a mishmash of elements from the first Avengers movie and the new Avengers movie and the designers' imaginations. And I think we see that played out in the minifigs as well. Three of them are Age of Ultron figs and two are pre-Ultron. And of the three Ultron figs, two of those are also available in the same form in cheaper Age of Ultron sets coming out in 2015. So they're not even exclusive to the Helicarrier set. Didn't we cover this already? No. So there it is, the Lego Shield Helicarrier. Great to build, well designed, good looking, even if not screen accurate, and packed with lots of cool details and accessories. But is it a playset or a display model? Well, the extra vehicles and the new micro figures certainly give us more playability than we saw with the Super Star Destroyer or the Tumbler. But it's obviously too big for younger builders to swoosh around. And as adorable as the micro figs are, and I definitely want to see more of those in the future, minifigs will always be the king of play. Other UCS sets, such as the Sandcrawler or the Millennium Falcon, a minifig scale and have relevant minifigs, so they strike a balance between adult display model and kid slash adult playset. The Helicarrier though is not minifig scale and I feel they go through in the figs to bump up the price or lure fig collectors, which I doubt will work as this is an unremarkable set of figs and some of them are available in cheaper sets. But as a display model I think it's a great set if a little overpriced and of course it doesn't fly. Wow. Uh, okay, well, thanks for watching the review. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Let us know what you thought about the set in the comments. And remember to subscribe to us so you can catch more reviews, event coverage, and other mischief from the Brothers Brick.